Hey guys, TSW here. Uh, yes, my UI is finally up for download. Um, but before you download it, um, the link is in the description by the way. But before you download it, there are a few uh, issues with the UI which I just want to cover, just so you're not stuck or anything. Um, you do get this uh, error message when you uh, first log on. This is because I'm using an outdated version of Grid. Um, you don't get any other errors other than this. So it's a small price to pay to have a really nice uh, grid configuration. Um, there are add-ons you can get which filter out certain um, UI errors and stuff, but I've not got any. Um, that's basically uh, the only bad side of grid. Um, but yeah, feel free to update grid, but bear in mind that you will have to configure it yourself and have your own configuration instead of having the one that I use. Um, also, when you um, hover over something, you get the tooltip in the bottom right hand corner. Um, you can see this mage person here. Um, there's no texture behind the text, so um, depending on where you are, it can be very difficult to read the text. Um, this happens, uh, I think it's happened to me twice in the last month, um, where the texture has just disappeared or whatever. Um, you want to type slash Skinner, go to backdrop, change um, this. I'm not quite sure which, what it is the top of the two options and uh, make it the blizzard dialogue background what this is is basically a uh, transparent black box um, so basically it gives it a nice uh, background it's you can still see through it but um, it means that you can actually read the text if you're in a white room you can read the white text because there's a nice black background anyway um, they're the two main problems with the UI, um, but yeah, they're neglectable. You don't need to worry too much about them, as long as you know how to uh, change the Skinner so you can see uh, the tooltips a little bit better. Anyway, uh, here we are on Freya Hard Mode 25 Man that we did yesterday. Um, here's I'm just, basically I'm just going to go through the UIs, uh, sorry, through the add-ons on the UI, uh, starting with the top left. Uh, this is Pitbull. Um, you see the three tanks on the top left. Um, you get this by um, your raid leader or an assistant in the raid uh, promoting these players to main tank rank uh, in the raid. Basically, um, if you don't know what this is, um, when you uh, drag out your raid frames or whatever and with certain add-ons, um, the main tanks have different properties in the in the add-ons so you get um, in this case your name in the top left and your health bar and whatever um, and yet it's really helpful for knowing when the tanks are dying and stuff but I will uh, make a future video of how to take how to configure all of these add-ons so uh, don't feel as if oh my god I've got main tanks in the top left hand corner I don't want them there I'll go through uh, any add-ons that people have queries with so you can change them how you like instead of just having them stuck like I have them <laughs> um, so yeah that's Pitbull and you can also see the target of the main tank and the targets target um, oh the add-on in the top middle um, which you see flash up it is uh, time to die uh, what this does is it calculates how long it'll take you with your current DPS to kill the target um, it's pretty good. Um, nice to know when you're going to make enraged timers. However, if there's any DPS loss or you need to kill adds or you're going to be CC'd, uh, the timer will be off because it doesn't know that um, you're going to be running off doing other things. Um, the add on in the top right with all the buffs is called Satrina's Buff Frames. Really good add on. Um, you can see all my buffs there. I do want to make the font size smaller on the timers because I do think they are quite big and they kind of almost overlap each other, which is quite bad. Um, you can also see Fairy Fire in the top right, the icon for it, as well as Vindication. Basically, these are buffs that I want to know uh, on, are on the boss without having to see all the buffs on the boss and squint and see what buffs are on the boss. So basically, um, I know when these buffs are on because they're massive in the top right hand corner. So with Vindication, I know I don't have to uh, pop Demoralizing Shout, so that's really cool. Um, you can't see at the moment because I've not got my uh, Sunders stacked, but in the middle of the screen, um, you'll be able to see um, a configuration, which I'll show you later again. I'll show you all the add-ons configurations later if you want. Um, you can see there two stacks of Sun Drama, and it'll tell me how many seconds left they are on the target. Um, you can see my uh, player frame 
and the target frame. This is Pitbull again, um, as well as the target to target. Um, you can see all the, the heals I'm getting, that's default, um, and all my damage I'm doing. People always ask me what that add on is. Um, the add on is default. Um, but there's an add-on to change the texture or the font rather called X damage which changes the damage font yay we killed Freya um, so that's and you can I'll show you later as well how to change font uh, to different fonts and stuff um, well so we've got uh, bottom left we have uh, chatter uh, one of the, one of the things with chatter which I used to have in one of the older uh, patches um, when you uh, shift uh, scroll it would scroll all the way down to the bottom or if you scroll up all the way up to the top which was really nice when going through uh, combat log and stuff and when you used to press control I used to have it so it would skip two lines at a time or whatever so you could go a lot quicker and just scroll 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 but with this version I've not figured out how to do that so I need to scroll 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 with my mouse frantically to you know, go through combat log to see what killed me that last time or whatever which is kind of annoying so if anyone does know how to do that please um, uh, contact me. Uh, the add-on next to it with the uh, raid frames is Grid. Uh, this is the add-on which is out of date but it still works except you get that error message when you log on. Um, I wouldn't be using an add-on which you know crashed a game or whatever um, obviously because that would be uh, pretty pointless. Um, but yeah it's a really nice add-on. You can see who's got um, Earth Shield on as well as who's got what manner, you see marks, all sorts of things, that's why it's a really nice configuration, that's why I don't use a more recent um, version of Grid, because I like this old configuration. Um, the add-on to the right with all my, all my moves on is called Bartender, um, I believe that on the uh, UI download it ships all my um, macros and keybinds, so feel free to have a rummage through those. Um, also um, the add-on just above it, which you can't see at the moment, but you will like now. Commanding shout and blood rage. That's what's called class timers. Um, I'm not really keen on this add-on because I, I really don't need it, and I don't like having add-ons which I don't need. Um, so that might not be in the next uh, version of the UI. But feel free to install it yourself. Basically, what it does is show your buffs and your debuffs on the target. Um, but I don't really need to know how much longer my commanding shout's up for because I very rarely buff it. And when I do, I can see in the top right hand corner the timer. And on the um, uh, the opposite side, uh, um, there's nothing at the moment, but that's where the deadly boss timers go, as well as above my portrait when they're ticking off. Um, sexy map, of course, is the map in the middle that everyone uses. Uh, you can change the configuration, have a different shape if you want, but I think that the square goes better with this UI. Um, the time, the FPS, and the MS is done is displayed with an add-on called um, uh, SL data text also in the top right if you've got it on um, high definition you can see my armor percentage durability as well as how many guild members are online and my gold total uh, to the right of my bartender you can see omen which just disappeared because it only shows in combat but you'll see that pop up in a second and to the right of that uh, we have a uh, recount um, one thing to bear in mind with recount is I've stripped a lot of the icons off um, so you, um, to change the filter, um, you see where the person who's top of the damage is. If you right click just above their name, um, you'll get the list of you know interrupts, uh, damage done, healing done, etc., etc. So you can change the filter. You just need to right click above that person's name, or you can do slash recount config and then add the arrows in to change it yourself. But I think it looks nice with only three buttons versus about ten with the default. Um, also, if you don't like the uh, transparency of Recount or Roman, you can change them yourself. Um, but I'll go through the configurations of them all later anyway. Um, also, to get the textures as they are, the moon and the stars and stuff in the sky, that's done with an add-on called KG Panels. Um, I did try and make a video earlier, uh, a few months ago, uh, showing you how to make textures, but the recording... Um, the codec was really bad, so I never uploaded it but um, I might do another one of those videos if you guys want to comment on this video if you do want to see how to use Photoshop and get some cool textures going for your ripping UI 
um, as well as um, CBH viewport which is an add-on which you can't see at the moment well you can see it because it's in effect but you can't directly see it and um, what this does is it makes black bars on the top or and bottom of the screen uh, to give your uh, game a cinematic effect um, and in, it basically what it does is squashes the screen but instead of just squashing the screen and giving you a squashed image it extends the left and the right hand side of the screen um, it's really hard to explain and get your head around without seeing it first hand so once you've downloaded the UI uh, go on add-ons and then CBH viewport and then put them both on max and you can almost see behind you it gives you such a big view of distance um, oh my god I love the train well, it's so cool anyway um, I think that's about it I'm sure I've missed half my add-ons uh, but yeah I'm running out of time so thanks very much for watching please rate this video um, a thumbs up and also favorite the uh, UI on wow interface please uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later cheerio